In the next few lectures, we're going to begin our discussion on substitution reactions, and we're going to focus on the SN2 reaction. So in this lecture, we're going to give an introduction to what an SN2 reaction is. So let's begin by defining what a substitution reaction is. A substitution reaction is simply a competition between two different Lewis bases for the same Lewis acid. So a substitution reaction is simply a Lewis acid base reaction. So let's begin by looking at the following two different substitution reactions. So in reaction one, on the reactant side, we have the Lewis base, the amine, reacting with our Lewis acid to produce our two different products, our ammonium and our bromine anion. So which ones are the Lewis bases and which one is the Lewis acid? So on the reactant side, our Lewis base is the amine. It contains the lone pair of electrons that can be used to take away this H atom from our hydro hydrobromic acid. Now, on the product side, this is our Lewis base. This contains the lone pair, the lone pair of electrons that can take away that H atom. Which one is the Lewis acid? The Lewis acid is this H atom. It's the H ion. So notice the H ion is attached to the bromine on the reactant side while it's attached to the ammonia on the product side. So this H atom is the same exact atom. Here it's found on the bromine and here it's found on the ammonia. So this H atom is our Lewis acid. And these two bases compete for this H atom. Now if this base is a stronger base then this base, that means that it's more able to compete for that H atom, so our reaction will be product favored. But if this base found on the product side is the stronger base, that means it will be able to outcompete this base, and our reaction will be reactant favored. So now let's examine reaction two. Now we have the hydroxide act as a Lewis base competing for the H ion, the Lewis acid found on this ammonia molecule to produce our products. We have water, we have ammonia, and we have this sodium ion. Now, this is our Lewis base on the reactant side. This is our Lewis base on the product side. The, our Lewis acid, our Lewis acid is this H ion found on ammonia here and found on water or a hydroxide molecule here. Now, whenever we talk about substitution reactions, and specifically SN2 reactions, there are two terms we have to be familiar with, nucleophile and leaving group. So first, let's define what these terms are, and then I'll show you what they are in these two reactions. So, a nucleophile is a Lewis base responsible for using its lone pair of electrons to displace an atom or a molecule, while a leaving group is the molecule or atom being displaced. It's the Lewis base that is displaced by the nucleophile. So, let's go to example one, reaction one. Our nucleophile is the Lewis base that's doing the displacing, that's taking the H atom away and displacing some other group or atom. So our leaving group is this bromine ion that's produced here. Now, notice this reaction is reversible. So we have the forward and reverse direction. If we go in reverse, now this is our Lewis uh, base doing displacing, and that means this must be our nucleophile. So going backwards, our nucleophile and our displacing group or leaving group is this uh, molecule here, which is formed in the reactant side. Likewise, in reaction two, our nucleophile is the hydroxide going this way and our amine going backward. Our leaving group is this NH3 molecule that's produced here, and on this side, it's this OH molecule that's in the water molecule on the product side. So, nucleophiles and leaving groups. Now, there's a very general way in which we can represent our reaction, substitution reaction, and it's given here, and it's given in terms of nucleophiles and leaving groups, where NU is our nucleophile that contains the lone pair of electrons, 
and L is our leaving group. So, our nucleophile uses its lone pair of electrons to attach itself to the R group, kicking off this lone pair of electrons and kicking off this leaving group, producing our leaving group and our uh, N, U, and R bond. Now, if we go backwards, this is our nucleophile and this must be our leaving group. So, this does the attacking, takes this R, kicks off this nucleophile, producing our reactants. Now, once again, a substitution is nothing more than an acid Lewis base reaction. And what's an acid Lewis base reaction? Well, an acid Lewis base reaction is nothing more than an interaction between the highest occupied molecular orbital of our nucleophile and the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital of our leaving group compound. So, this lone pair of electrons found on our non bonding orbital is our HOMO. And this anti-bonding uh, molecular orbital found on this compound is our LUMO. So, now let's define what an SN2 reaction is. So, we already said an SN2 reaction is a substitution reaction. But many different types of substitution reactions exist. Which one is SN2? Well, SN2 is exactly what the name preludes to. The S stands for substitution, the N stands for nucleophilic, simply meaning there is a nucleophile or Lewis base involved, and it's bimolecular. Bimolecular, we'll see what that means in just a moment. So, this is in fact a substitution or an SN2 reaction. So, let's take this reaction and place it here. So we have the nucleophile attacking our R group, taking that R group away, kicking off the leaving group, producing our leaving group and our NR bond. Going backwards, this is the nucleophile and this N is our leaving group. So we said that our uh, SN2 reaction is bimolecular. So what is the meaning of that? Well, that simply means that the rate of the reaction depends on the concentration of both the reactants on this concentration and on this concentration. So if we were to write the rate law or the rate of the reaction, we would write it in the following way. So rate of full reaction is given by Kf, the constant for the full reaction, multiplied by the concentration of the nucleophile multiplied by the concentration of our leaving group. So, if we increase either of these reactants, our rate of full reaction will increase because we're increasing one of these reactants. Now, the rate of the reverse reaction is given by the following reaction, where now we have a different rate constant given by Kr. The F simply means forward, R means reverse. Now we're taking the concentration of the products and multiplying by one another. So this is our nucleophile and our leaving group. Now, the two constants, Kf and Kr, are called rate constants and they depend on temperature as well as the activation energy. So they depend on the type of reaction that is taking place. Now notice that Kf and Kr are not necessarily equal. In fact, most of the time they're not equal. So our rate of forward doesn't always equal the rate of reverse. Only at equilibrium are these two things equal. So, let's take our two reactions, our two substitution reactions, and write our rate law for both the reverse and the forward reaction. So, let's begin with the forward for reaction 1. So, rate of forward given by rate 1 is equal to K of forward multiplied by the concentration of our Lewis base, the nucleophile, and our leaving group, so our acid. Likewise, rate of reverse is equal to rate subscript 2 equals K of reverse multiplied by the concentration of our Lewis base times the concentration of our Lewis acid. Now let's jump to example 2. Once again, the same exact story. Rate of forward is equal to constant forward multiplied by the concentration of our base multiplied by the concentration of our acid. And going in reverse, we have the following. K 
K of reverse multiplied by the concentration of these two products. So, once again, to overview, an SN2 reaction is a substitution reaction, which simply means that there is a competition between two different Lewis bases for a single Lewis acid. So, a substitution reaction is a Lewis acid base reaction.